So it's all change, off with the chunky gravel tyres and big springs and dampers, on with smoother tyres and bigger brakes as the cars adopt a low-slung, more road-hugging racing style. Here we are with Eric's car in full gravel trim. Next up, we're off to Germany, obviously tarmac. Since Sweden, we've been running the cars like this, but I'm just gonna give you a quick run, run through of what we do to change over the tarmac setup. So the first and biggest difference, which makes for the car and the driver, is this. On gravel, we're using a 15-inch rim with a tire that's got a large open tread pattern to get rid of the gravel. On tarmac, though, no good. What we need something completely different, we're using 18-inch rims, completely different tread pattern, nice and smooth, get as much contact on the road as possible, giving as much grip. So behind the wheels, we have the brakes. On gravel, we can use these brake discs, 300 millimeters. As you can see, it's nicely inside the wheel. On tarmac, there's a lot of wasted space there. So what do we do? We increase this to 355 millimeters. We also change the compound of these, the brake pads, gives us more stopping power and it enables the drivers to brake later. So we've looked at wheels and tyres, we've looked at the brakes, behind that we've got the dampers. So the dampers are taking all the bumps out of the stages uh, to make the car as drivable as possible. On tarmac, we run a lower ride height, a shorter damper and a stiffer spring. The springs and the roll bar here can also be changed during the event. Slightly harder and slightly softer depending if conditions are wet or dry. This is down to the driver and the engineers to sort out themselves. But this is the fine tuning part of the car which gives the ultimate setup for the stages. So it's not only the big changes we need to think about, we need to think about the small ones as well. One example is the jack. This bar here goes into the side of the sill so the drivers can jack the car up if they have a puncture. If we forget to adjust the height of this from gravel to tarmac, you won't get the jack in and then you can't change that puncture, which is potentially a big disaster. So we've just got to think about everything when we switch over from gravel to tarmac. But even when the setup is perfect and everything's dialed in, things can and do go wrong, of course, as we've often seen in the German countryside. Your expert overview of the entire rally. Get WRC Plus with live GPS map tracking now.